Hey everyone, it's Aaron from WPKB and in this video we're going to show you how to actually create beautiful long form content with the long form story builder. Once you've got the plugin installed, you simply need to head into the dashboard of your WordPress website. And once you're there, you can click on either posts or pages. It doesn't matter which. We're going to use posts today. Uh, you can go to all posts and edit a previous post or create a new one. To keep it simple, we're just going to create a new one and I'm going to call that long form. Of course, what you choose to title it is entirely up to you. And then just checking this box over here, display as long form content. Uh, once you've done that, you need to click on either save draft or publish. It's up to you. Uh, for today, we're just going to click on save draft. And when that's gone through, you can see you've got this new box here. The key thing here is the button that says edit my long form content page. So we're going to click on that now. It'll open up the WordPress customizer in a new tab. Initially, what you might notice is on the left hand side, you've got long format page sections and page options available to you. And on the right hand side, you've got sort of a demo page uh, that's bundled with the plugin. It gives you just a very brief rundown of what to do, which is your step one, click on long format page step sections. Step two, choose your various sections and then just editing them as you go. So what we're gonna do is get started with some long format page sections. Uh, you need to click on that, of course, and then click on the arrow to drop down uh, the actual area where the button is to add a section. And after you've clicked on that, you'll notice this section has appeared uh, sort of in the middle of the left and right hand area. And what you need to do then is choose what you'd actually like to start off your long form content with. Of course, the choice is entirely up to you. What I'm going to do is start with a header uh, because we'll take it from the top down. We'll just call this header. Uh, you want to go through and select an image. I'm just going to use what's in my media library at the moment and just choose this because it looks nice. You can come back and obviously edit change uh, or remove this at any point. You just need to put in a main heading. So I've just put the heading and the subtitle in. Uh, you can see them updating over on the right hand side. Uh, once you've made any changes here, just click on close. And that's the first section done. What we can do now is add in another section. What I'm going to do is just put in a single column content area. We'll call this content area one. Uh, as far as the content goes, I'm just going to paste in some filler text here and then hit close. And we can see that straight away over on the right hand side, that's been updated. We'll go forth now and add in another section. I'm going to put in a call out. I think they look quite nice. I will call this call out one. And as you can see here, I've put in a main title and a subtitle. Uh, then we'll hit close one more time. And if we scroll down, we can see that they're present now, very, very clear and easy to see. After this, we'll add in another section. Uh, this time I'm gonna go with a two column content area. Section name, I'm gonna call it two columns. Just keep it very simple. Once again, I'm gonna paste in some text here to the first column and then into the second column as well. And once I can see that that's been saved, I'm just gonna click on close. Um, and yeah, that's all that we're gonna run through in terms of actually adding content. The process is very, very, very simple as you can see. Uh, there's a great deal of options you have. You can add navigation in there if you'd like, section headings, three column content areas. Uh, and of course, in all of these, you can indeed add images as you see fit. So what I'm gonna do now is just close off the add a section and we're gonna click on this little back button here and just quickly take a look at page options before we move on. You see there's two choices here in terms of the color that we're using. Uh, they're just a color picker. As you can see, you can drag that around uh, as, you, as you require. And you can also change the font very easily. There's a few combinations available uh, so we just click on the drop down and just choose any other font combination. And in about a second or two, it updates that for the preview on the right hand side. Once you're happy with the changes you've made, of course, remember to go up to the top and hit save and publish. And when that's done, we can get rid of this customizer and get a preview of how it's actually going to look live on the website. So as you can see, it's a great plugin. It's really super simple to use and you can create some very, very beautiful pages with very, very limited resources. Uh, so we hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the plugin and how to use it, please feel free to ask in the comments below. And of course, if you've enjoyed this video, hit subscribe for more.